Okay. I should I should smart wait, let me put on the glasses. And then this way I can take a thumbnail. There we go. That'll be that'll be the thumbnail. Okay, we can back out of this. So as you can see, we're in creative writing episode one, and I want to show you why. Uh, so it's uh, it's this comment down here. So I just I had just come back to put in the time codes uh, in my last video, Perpetual Progress uh, uh, Progress Process Episode Four: The Accomplishments. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. Um, and there's a comment here from Bro Talnia. Bro Talnia. Okay, it says, tell us more about your Star Wars fan film idea. Which era is it set in? Does it feature any existing characters, etc.? And oh, let me let me set the timer because I got I got work and stuff to do. But uh, but let's do this while I'm fresh. Okay, so I'm set the timer. I I give you I can give us thirty five minutes. And I got and then I get got to get back to work. So typically, typically I would expend all the energy that I have right now on my on my career job, uh, but I I'm, uh, I'm carving out a little bit of time when I'm fully awake and fully caffeinated to be able to do some some content uh, stuff and uh, creative writing is going to be one of those things. So what I hope to do soon is uh I'll, I'll in another two or three months i should have a really nice uh, uh rendering rig like it would be a workstation a great uh, graphics card uh grow lots of memory and uh, uh i'll be able to do a bunch of editing and 3d modeling and stuff on it and um uh, lots of live streaming and uh, then i can start uh actually live streaming some of these things instead of just just recording it here and there and, and posting it but uh that's what that's what we're here for we're gonna uh i'm gonna try to answer your question here or uh, uh you, you didn't even ask a question you you just said tell us more about it and honestly i hadn't thought too much about what i would do uh if i was going to make a star wars uh, fan film and to you know for for me the it, it all starts with writing so so we would want to uh I'd want to start off with um uh establishing this the set and the setting and uh all, a lot of the different minutiae and then see how it how it plays out so i actually don't know that much about the extended star wars universe i uh i i played the video game i played the old republic uh the, the the og you know knights of the old republic and then uh there was the mmo that came out later uh and i i think i've read like one one or two of the books so i, I ended up asking chat gtb a, a bunch of questions about the the star wars universe uh briefly explain the star wars extended universe history so this is before the old republic Old Republic era, Rise of the Empire, Rebellion era, New Republic, New Jedi Order, Legacy era. So I'm, I was just kind of going through and, and seeing what made sense. Um, I think before I could, uh, you, you know, you asked if I was going to use any established characters. Probably not. Uh, I I'm trying to think about you know i mean what what would interest me what what would i find engaging so the star wars that 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 i would want to write it, it wouldn't be for kids <laughs> you know uh i think i think there's a lot of missed opportunity in star wars if, if people would just take it a little bit more seriously i'm not saying like dial it up to 20 like they do in warhammer 40,000. i'm just saying like you know you can have some more adult themes in there. You can show like vice and uh, you know the 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 duality of, of of man a little bit better instead of the the nebulous crap that Disney's doing right now. So so let's I I don't know enough about all of the errors to really answer the question. So. Um, what it, it, but this is episode one so let's just let's just talk about some of the things that that i i find interesting right now so it's like um okay so during old republic 
era, or actually, um, yeah, during the during the old Republic era, you know, you have uh, the Sith Empire, uh, and uh, which it's very, which is very Machiavelli. Did I spell that right? I can't spell the name Machiavelli. There we go. Okay, so I find that interesting because you've got uh, you 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 in, instead of uh, a an ethos where uh, you know you're you're uh, trying to protect those weaker than you. The entire ethos of the the Sith Order is built on uh, controlling or dominating. Uh, those that are weaker than you until you know they become strong themselves or sometimes they don't become strong at all uh hence hence the the oppression that's that's inherent in the in the sith empire um so as i was going through this uh i find it I, you you have the old republic and you have you have the jedi and then you have the the sith empire now that's cool because you get you get tons of different force users and that and that opens up a couple of different things too. Um, I find it interesting that as I'm reading through this, uh, the uh, basically the the when the Sith Empire was discovered, they they launched this big attack uh, on Coruscant and got them and and then got the Jedi Order to basically uh negotiate with them uh which uh, seemed to have like raised their status on a on a political level because uh before they they weren't recognizing them as as any type of like political body so that that's interesting um so now the the other problem here here's one of the other problems though with star wars is that it's like you know I maybe I don't want to do the old Republic period because it because it has all of those force users. You know, one of the one of the things that is just so overdone uh, in Star Wars is is the 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 force stuff and the uh, there, there's 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 an opportunity to do so much more. Um, what what do I mean by that? What do I mean by? Uh, I don't know. We, we I I I need to put a decent amount of thought into how I would want to portray the, uh, the force. And and one of the yeah, let's write that down. So it's a uh, you know, uh, which is Machiavelli. Maybe uh, uh, use this as backstory as so many force users would seem blase. I don't know how to make the little tilde thing over. Um, okay, how do you, you want to portray? the force all right so like um backstory ancient times what is going to be your version of Cain and Abel basically yeah uh, so you've got you uh it's it's not like George Lucas was breaking any new ground uh, with with the philosophy of um, of what what he's what he set up in Star Wars. It's actually it's actually kind of basic. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity to uh, expand on it, and you know Star Wars is always going back to like, oh, these, these ancient times. Uh, but I would want to see, uh, I think in my story, I'd, I'd want to see uh, the multiple, I, I guess that's the answer uh, to your question. Yeah, uh, okay, so it's like, which era is set in? Most of them, probably. Because I would want to see like how something from the early, early era of like, uh, 
you know, before the Republic, right? So this is where, like, you'd, you'd have your Cain and Abel story. And this is where a lot of, like, the mythos and the legend and stuff would... Okay, so you get, like, maybe you get twins. I think they've done that before. Uh, maybe it's not twins. Maybe it's just... Uh, oh, maybe it's male and female. Uh, you could you, you could do something there. Uh, maybe... Uh, maybe it's maybe maybe they're not even human uh but but you, you have these these two pivotal characters one light side one dark side and they're representative of uh the rest of the way this stuff kind of the 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 the, 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 the way things play out thematically okay so how do you want to portray the four but what's going on you okay so i i don't know the answer to that yet but i will i i will sit down and uh i i will think about this some more um let's let's keep going let's keep going i i will i will i will sit down and uh, uh do 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 the hard thinking and the and the nail biting later i'm just gonna uh kind of write out a bunch of different stuff maybe use his backstory okay so so this is actually developing uh you know the uh let's let's write that down um it uh, uh, it would makes it would uh, be fun to have uh, plot lines that uh, exist across uh, the different years of Star Wars. Um, how would something from a bygone era manifest later um yeah i don't i don't think they uh, i'm i'm sure there's there's times of this happening but i'm just i'm just not that big of a I haven't read that much of the extended universe to know during the old Republic era. Sith and Fire was Jesus' backstory. Uh, so we can get rid of the backstory. She's very Machiavelli. Uh, so, and the reason I write this is because uh, I uh, find the politics of the Dark Council. How do you spell council? Uh, interesting, um, especially uh, running empire, you know, based off uh, you know, how can a society that you know, praise on weak and ex exploits its people thrive. I, I I don't know the answers to these questions. I need I need to think up ones that make sense and then put them on the story. Um, uh, this you know I'm, I'm trying. To, let's just keep asking questions about. Uh, uh, yeah, what uh, advice exists? Uh, there'd be different drugs. Uh, there would be sex. How would that be exploited in the world of Star Wars? Like I said, I'm not making it for kids. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to go, you know, actually, let me clarify something here. I'm not trying to do this to be like an edge master. Okay. What I find interesting would be, okay, during the old Republic era, you have the Sith Empire and you've got the old Republic. Okay. And the Sith Empire is trying to do everything it can to like maintain its position. Okay. So they do that through like, uh, like uh re remember remember the, the little thing called the opium wars between uh the the, Brit the british empire and, and a little place called china um so let's put that opium opium 
wars, right? Um, and then uh, 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 let's let's put uh, uh, character flaw of the Sith Empire Emperor. Or, you know his his weakness is is the same as mine. He loves beautiful women. Uh, his weakness. Okay, cool. Can't even spell it. Um, uh, that that could actually like lead to his downfall, which which could lead his downfall and and a reshuffling of the dark councils politics and maybe. Um, I keep going back to this because I find it, I find it so interesting. So Dark Council, uh, let's do this. Uh, uh, give me a list of the twelve positions that existed on the Dark. Counts story. I can't install this can do it. Console. Okay, here we go. No, I'm not. I just I I'm using the AI to get to get me information. I'm not letting it write stuff for me. But I'm I this is it's easier to ask it these questions than for me to go to Wikipedia and, and fall down ten different rabbit holes. Um okay, and this is Sith Empire within the context of the old republic, the Dark Council was comprised of uh, uh, twelve members each overseeing specific sphere of influence. They covered various aspects of the Empire Government's military operations. Here was the 12 sphere of ancient knowledge, sphere of bio, focused on medicine, biotechnology, advancement of Sith warriors so through scientific means, sphere of defense of empire. Okay. Okay, so this is cool. Like here's here, all right. So here's some character motivations right here. Uh the uh Okay, yeah. So we've got at least 12 characters, and then you're going to have the, all right, so you got the 12, then you've got the Emperor, so that's 13 characters right there, and then you'll have to have the people, the things that these folks do will affect other characters, and that's where, and that, and those other characters, we will see the effects of what these characters do. So like, um, yeah, laws and justice. Uh, uh, what will what, what be an example? Uh, the the you know they're trying to manage manage an empire, uh, and they the 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 bean counters say that they're going to have uh, food food shortages in this sector if you know nobody does anything about it. So the uh, sphere of military intelligence or, or imperial intelligence uh, works with uh, the sphere of economic influence to start a um, start a propaganda campaign uh, to go out to different worlds and, and be farmers to, to to make to make more food, thus averting the uh, the the, sh the shortage. Uh, or may or maybe it doesn't. Maybe the rebels get involved and people starve. Ooh. Uh, all right. Let's uh let's copy this part right here. We're gonna copy this whole part right here, and we're going to. Okay, Dark Council. Boom. I'm gonna leave it like that. So, oops. Here, let's just paste it. There. Okay, Dark Council. Okay. Each one of these should be a main character. Okay. And then think about the actions and 
motivations are taken by these characters that will affect people in the world uh, outside of this high level of politics. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I like how this is. There's a lot of different stuff that I got to figure out. Uh, so uh, a couple of things come to mind just going through uh, military strategy, imperial intelligence. Um, sphere of technology. Yeah, I don't. I'd like to, it, it'll be interesting to, to, to come up with things that overlap, uh, to, you know, what, what kind of, uh, what kind of like ancient knowledge would, uh, the, uh, imperial intelligence and military strategy, uh, oh yeah. And the sphere of mysteries dealt with esoteric and secretive cis knowledge, like, the dark side, the dark side research, like, okay, uh, what, what, what does dark side research actually look like? Uh, you know, and, and, and I'm not Disney, so, you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not limited, uh, and, and just needing to, you know, make stormtroopers with, with black armor. <laughs> like I can, we can do, but we can do something more evil than stormtrooper and black armor. I can, I can, I can think of something. I can think of something. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to, I'm really going to chew on all of this. This is, this is going to be good. Uh, I, and also I don't know enough about Star Wars too. Like I'm going to have to go through and read, uh, a bunch of stuff. Like, I don't want, I, I know people love this stuff. Um, uh, and it, uh, uh, and, and they love it because obviously the books were like really good and, uh, they really got attached to to them and the stories and the characters. And you give me a list of uh, you know top fifteen Star Wars books to read that will give me a good idea of the you know overall of. Um, Star Wars independent of the major movies. Oh, can't spell. Okay. So one of the things that I, I should also do is uh, if, if I'm going to expand on this project, then I, I need to go ahead and consume uh some of some of the material i one one of the one of the things that i've uh other people have started pointing out is uh like the things that that are typically uh uh everybody's excited when it comes out and then it comes out and it's terrible and it's clear that the people that worked on it knew nothing about the source material like i don't want to make that mistake i don't know that much i probably know more than 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 anybody off than average job off the street but like compared to somebody who who is an actual star wars fan uh who who's who's already read all these things i don't, I don't know crap uh disney canon legends can yeah so it would be legends canon probably uh and then i i i know the like disney uh, kathleen kennedy intentionally nuked uh, all of the legends canon and said it doesn't ex exist just so they can steal from it later. Uh, I, I, I've got a friend who, who, uh, is a big fan of, uh, Dave Filoni and, and, uh, like Dave Filoni has been sneaking in his stuff, uh, whether, uh, uh, whether Kathleen Kennedy wants him to or not. Um, whoever, who, 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 the whole reason we're even talking about this is because I am just amazed that, you know, 
10 years ago, I remember seeing jokes about Disney, like mon money printer go burr because Disney had Star Wars and like the they, they hadn't screwed up the Marvel stuff yet. Uh, like the Avengers storyline was still going on and it just seemed like Disney, you know, could just could just do no wrong. And but now here we are now. Now. Now here we are. <laughs> and it all it all goes back to writing. I really I really think it all just it all just goes back to writing. They, they had all of this rich uh, this rich stuff that, that was created in the expanded universe. And they just oh no, we're not going to worry about that. You know, they're. Uh, so this, this, this stuff just fascinates me. Um, so Disney canon, what's the, what is, explain the difference between Legends canon and Disney canon. The Legends canon distinction between the two arose from Disney acquisition of Lucasfilm in 2012, which led to the reorganization of, of the narrative continuity of the Star Wars franchise. Here's an overview of each and how they differ. Okay, so before 2014, Expanded Universe included everything. And then and then when Disney bought them out and Kathleen Kennedy wanted to pretend to be creative, she decanonized it. Okay, gotcha. Secondary kind of this is parallel to the official canon. It is no longer actively expanded in a way that kind of connects with the stars. Okay, all right. So then, you know, we, we can just say this is the Legends canon. I'm like, you know, let's put that at the top. Um, I just do. Legends, canon, uh, fan project. Now, now that's that's quite the commitment because that means that I I need to adhere to uh, all of the the storylines and the characters and stuff. Which means uh, see, this is going to be a big project because I actually want to do it justice. See, this is this is why Disney didn't put in any of the work because it's like, oh, you mean we we'd have to read all of these books? And then and then learn all of these characters and their motivations and then create our own to interact with these. Oh God, who who would think of doing that? Um, original six films. Okay, so the Disney canon is just the films now. And anything that they created after 2014, apparently. <laughs> uh, Disney canon aims for a high level of continuity and cohesion across all media, media whereas Legends was more sprawling and occasionally inconsistent due to the many different authors and stories developed independently. Well, what's wrong with that? I, I, well, I'm, I'm a Warhammer fan, so I mean, that's 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 what Warhammer prides itself on, actually. Um, canonical status considered the official storyline of the universe as recognized by this film, while Legends is treated as a separate, non canonical. But beloved collection of the stories. Yes, beloved by all but Disney. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, okay, well, let's see how much uh, this is this has been pretty good. How much time we got? We got uh, about seven seven minutes left, and I, I put it on for about 35. Okay. Well let's um let's call let's call it there uh for for now. Uh this 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 was fun. Just look, I got I gotta get back to work. Uh, but I wanted to to uh, to re respond to uh, to your comment here uh, uh, because you 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 the moment I read your comment it just got me thinking and I was like what what actually what actually would I do um, so you know and this is creative writing let's just put uh, in projects creative writing. Oh man. So, you know, what I what I'd like to be able to do is when I get my uh you know, get my rig all set up and then I can just live stream this kind of stuff. Uh we can just you you can I'll, I'll live stream you can live stream myself uh you know thinking and banging away on the keyboard and, and fleshing out a, a lot of this stuff. Uh 
this would uh this is so i i think i've i've hopefully given you kind of like a little bit of insight i like i like levels and complexity and all this stuff i want to be able to see you know like one of the one of the like we, we've got all these people in these high echelons of power and like i i would also have like a character that's on like the low level of things that's either affected by the imperial or not the imperial uh the 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 old republic's propaganda or or the sith empire's propaganda or they're a victim of you know both factions because of the constant war and all that kind of stuff you know just uh complexity I, um uh but complexity that makes sense i guess uh i, I don't know I, I think this is uh I, I didn't realize how much work uh, w would actually go into uh, uh, w w w the amount of work that I would put into uh, doing some sort of Star Wars fan project. Like, it all, for again, for all, for me, it all starts with story. And now, and now that I, I start looking at it, the thing that complicates it is all of the the canon uh, in in the the Legends canon. So. Um, there's got to be the if, if the legend can't if the legends canon fills in too much uh the you know where where i can't uh i can't do anything without having to uh you know use characters that are already in positions of power then i, I gotta think of something else uh because i don't want to uh write characters that already exist uh i'd, I'd like them to be like referred to uh as, as like you know being historical figures or whatnot but i wouldn't want to you know i wouldn't presume to take somebody else's character and 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 and, and write what that character is going to do uh maybe maybe app maybe there's like uh because the, the sith empire and stuff was before the rule of two and then you know the the rule of two wasn't really working out for the for the sith uh you know there, there's an argument a philosophical argument to be made that the rule of two uh 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 limits uh the sith to like a parasitic uh uh uh, uh organism like the this like the sith can't stand the sith don't have their own empire there just have to be two really really powerful people at the top of any empire and like that that's it that uh, you know so I, I i think i think there 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 could be an opportunity to you know uh if 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 the legends canon is just too dense to do anything to to do what i what i'm hoping to do with it then maybe you could go to to an era after all this stuff it's like okay well this this the sith are gonna you know gonna get rid of the rule of two because it clearly hasn't been working out for a few thousand years <laughs> all right Oh, well, this this was fun. This was fun. I, I need to stop. I'm rambling now, uh, but I'll save these. I'll save these notes. Uh, and I, I, I hope you um, uh, I, I hope you uh, enjoyed this thought exercise with me. Uh, you know, this is this is episode one. I uh, hope hope for there to be many more. Hope to be live streaming this kind of stuff and spending a lot more time on it, even if it's just a thought exercise. But uh, also want to do this stuff for for uh, a lot of other projects um, that I have in mind. So stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.